All right, so this time I wanted to show a couple things in the menu. Uh, first things first, there's a, there's a little manual. I didn't read it because, you know, I know how to play. But, uh, you know, it'll teach you how to play. It's... I guess it's moderately complex, you know, as far as Mega Man sort of stuff is. Go away, Mr. Mouse. Um, there's also, once you beat the game, you unlock a lot of this. Uh, this menu is pretty empty. You get game start, setting, manual, and exit, I think, is all you get. Uh, a lot of this stuff is unlocked when you beat the game. Um, spoilers! So, when you get achievements, which is like... Um, the, the kind of vague, but... Um, when it says, learn Kiwito's skill magic, I love the scare quotes. It really just means, don't take a hit, which I guess is learning, but I mean, I guess it's kind of deliberately vague, maybe. But yeah, um, I really like the, um, it gives you these concept art sketches, and it gives you a little thought about the concept art, which is really nice. I really wish more games would do that. Like, concept art is like a free way to have, like, because, I mean, you already have it, right? So, it's like a free way to add some, you know, unlockables and stuff to your game. I wish more games had that stuff, so they have sort of, you know, some how the outfit goes and I really one thing I like about the series is that they kind of give Zizu a new look every time like the first time she had sort of like a genie looking thing like a, an almost like Shantae kind of outfit this time she's got I guess they're trying to be slightly steampunk she's got the hats which is her, definitely her trademark this time and then she's got she's wearing a little suit next time which is pretty cute and um yeah just appreciate that they they, they changed it up a bit and they have these little boss sketches, and um, they explain things. I also find it adorable that, like, dots, um, dot pictures is how um, Japan calls, like, uh, you know, pixel art. I always, I always find it cute when they leave in things like dot or dot pixels. Um, yeah, it just has little, you know, how they designed the boss. <laughs> I wanted her to look retro. I like that. She's... She really does look like um, a Mega Man character. And there's our drunk scientist. And there's Liddy. Of course, you have to have the butt. The butt is a very important part of the uh, the concept sketching. If you don't know how to draw the butt, I mean, how are you going to draw the rest? The butt is the base of the body, so to speak. <laughs> but I like that they explained that like her, her outfit's sort of supposed to look like, you know, it's bandages, but it's kind of like detached sleeves, loose socks. A little skirt thing going on. I really like that her eyes change. I'm not sure if you noticed that when I was fighting her. You probably noticed better than I did, but uh, yeah, her eyes change when she's doing her attacks. There's so much personality in the characters. Oh, and that's Lit or Rudy, which we haven't actually fought yet. Yeah, I, I happen to have these bosses that I already beat, just because that's the order I did in a different playthrough. I was doing uh, casual mode with uh, Sor Sola, um, just to... Um, well, there's a mode in this game called Dangerous Mode where you die in one hit, and it multiplies your reward by 10 when you beat the game. So it's a really great way to farm for those post-game unlocks. So that's kind of what I started doing. And uh, yeah, so now let's go to Rudy. I like her weapon. It's kind of like this two halves thinger. Forest far from the city. Tiny Fae live peacefully here, but there's a certain beast folk. All right, beast folk, that's what they're called. She kind of looks weird in, I don't know, I, I guess her head just seems a little too round in this shot. But, and her ears, like, is she like, I don't know, those aren't like cat ears, so like what, is she like fox, maybe? I don't know. I really like, uh, like, uh, pretty much all the art in this game, but that, that one just, she looks just a teeny bit odd there, compared to all the other ones. Yurian is probably one of my favorite. And favorites in terms of how their uh, art turned out. There's a fair amount of uh, reused enemies in this game. I, I can't really complain about that personally. I think reuse in games is really overblown. Like, things cost money, you know? And, you know, I would rather have, you know, generally speaking, you're not talking a reused asset versus a, um, you know, a brand new one. You know, that reused asset is not replacing a new thing. It just means you would have less variety, period, if you uh, removed that. I think I missed. A there we go. I remember where the easier to get Pura Siega are. Also, I'm nervous around the trees because in every mode but Lunatic, they will fall slow enough that you can pretty much always just run right past them. In Lunatic, it's pretty tight. 
I think you can. Yeah. You can, like, just barely do it oh, if something doesn't slow you down. So those cats, if you hit the cat, uh, they rush towards you. And I think in hard mode, they actually block the first shot or something. Um, but they're a lot harder to deal with in hard mode. Or in lunatic mode, rather. Also, look at the pic... The, the, the squirrels are great. Little individually animated squirrels. Best game. Does your favorite video game have individually animated squirrels? It probably doesn't. Oh! Oh, right. They... They are totally invincible while they're rushing in lunatic mode. That is not a feature in, um, in normal mode. There's a certain set of Siega that I almost always miss, and I need to learn where they are. Like, I know where they are, like, if I thought about it and I searched and stuff. But yeah, these cats are drastically harder in lunatic mode. A lot of things are. Like, a lot of things that I get hung up on in this mode, um, you might not even notice when playing, um, if you play on an easier difficulty. Also, uh, this game just does so much in terms of difficulty and sort of changing things. Like I said, in easy mode, it adds more platforms so that certain jumps are hard or easier or impossible to fail. Um, that's racist, Zizu. Don't say that. Um, and on casual mode, um, enemies drop hearts to heal you on casual and super easy mode. Um, they don't on expert and lunatic, so I, I get no healing whatsoever. I don't even get healing at the boss rush. Usually you get a little bit of healing for each from each boss. Uh, none of that here. Anyway, back to Zizu being racist. Yeah, that's against the rules. You're going to jail. Once again, very good faces happening. Zizu doesn't seem like a very, like, godly sort of god, does she? あなたたちの研究が何やら怪しいからやめてほしいんだけど。え、普通の会話つまんないよ。じゃあどんな会話ならいいのよ。うん、ここに来れるってことはそれにありに強そうだし、ちょっとちょっとどうよ。Like how you think. Yeah, per standard cute em up rules, everyone wants to fight for absolutely no reason. So, right. About that embarrassing weakness. Yeah, just cast time division and she gets a headache for a few seconds. Unfortunately, she's one of the slower ones to defeat in terms of just taking hits. I don't know if she has more health or if it just feels slower because you're just, you know hitting her while she stands there fairly helplessly Which seems kind of rude now that I think about it but yeah this is actually very very useful because um, it basically makes her boss fight a free um, recharge of um, Trez when you fight her uh -oh. oh I didn't have enough stuff that is the downside of her thing it timing half is very expensive and I'm probably gonna take a loss here She is a competent boss when she's not, you know, having that happen, by the way. But, um, yeah, she's basically free when you fight her at the uh, final boss's palace. You know, Wily's castle. You kind of want to just... Well, for one thing, you want power to be full here. Uh, this is a lot less annoying when you have... Um, our meter will fill a lot faster later. We, uh... Uh oh. We're still kind of slow here. We have a lot of upgrades to go. <laughs> and yeah, you can interrupt her ultimate attack with it. It feels a little rude, but hey. We are fighting. Oop. A little close. A little close. I'll let her finish 5 of star this time. No, I won't. I thought she was going to kill me. Oh, she killed me. Okay. 
Frick. That's embarrassing. She had <laughs> just a tiny sliver. Oh well. Uh oh. I'm good at video games. I was not expecting her to immediately jump. Which is stupid, because she always immediately jumps. Anyway, so the... The meter system does kind of punish you moderately harshly for, ta for you know, taking a loss against a boss, because you start off with your meter, you know, kind of empty. But bosses do drop Trez, and um, unlike the first game, at least unlike... It doesn't feel like this in the first game. Um, the bosses are designed that you can totally beat them um, with... You know, no power-ups. Uh, in the first game, it was pretty rough, and you just kind of needed to depend on your upgrades, and bosses were pretty bullet hell. And uh, I kind of missed the bullet hellness of the bosses in some way, but because, uh, you know, I like that sort of game. But th this game is a lot more accessible and a lot more Mega Man-ish and feels a lot more fair without it. The bosses were kind of insane, really, in the first game. Ugh. I can't believe I lost, and I took so much damage so early this time. In fact, I might- I think I'm just gonna take a loss here. I'm gonna power up my meter. So the annoying thing with timing half is that you're gonna wanna, um, sort of reserve your shot strength. As long as you have Comet set to the third slot instead of the fourth, um, it will sort of spend as much energy as you use up. Also, everything uses the same shot energy, if that wasn't obvious. Um, which is nice. I do... I never liked in the classic Mega Mans that you had... You know, you kind of ran out of the good skills really fast, and I always really liked the Mega Man... ZX Advent. It kind of had a rechargeable meter, kind of like just like this. Um, oh, frick. I'm kind of not used to fighting her with this week of attacks. So... I'm used to... Oh, another thing. One of the, my favorite post um, post-game power-ups. So the post-game stuff lets you beat pretty crazy overpowered and one thing you can actually have half or zero percent capacity use or like you know meter use so everything is free so you can just constantly spam timing half or the thing that protects you it's pretty freaking amazing Oop, that was that was really close boss sprites will usually not hurt you uh there's a few exceptions usually an attack animation will you know hurt you um it's kind of funny, uh, Marie, or Mary, the, the alcoholic one, um, her stun animation will hurt you, because she's kind of flailing around like an alcoholic. Um, it's a pretty nice touch. Also, the, the stun animations for everybody but... Ow. Everybody but Rudy here is a lot longer in... Um, in... Uh, on easier modes, so you can like actually stun them. Like this is, uh, she's still pretty extreme, but um, this is kind of what a normal boss otherwise looks like. If you just take this slower, um, there's really not much you can do. I'm just being impatient because I don't like this fight taking too long, but I don't really have the extra health or attack power. To make the fastest route work right. But yeah, poor Rudy. The game kind of makes up for it by, because there's a couple of enemies that uh, are bosses that actually are really not affected by their weakness. So Lord Attack, not a very good attack at all. Um, if you upgrade it, it can actually erase attacks. And is actually pretty neat, but you need to spend 3,000. Uh, a lot of the attacks are only good once you've upgraded them here. And it's kind of not really worth it to upgrade them. It's kind of unfortunate. But um, if you've got a favorite, you can upgrade it. But like upgrading all of them is just really expensive. But yeah, the Lord attack, it, uh, it pierces a lot of stuff. I think it can actually destroy indestructible stuff. 
Oh dang, we can't upgrade Trez. So, I've actually never figured out if upgrading attack affects attacks other than, like, Comet and Liner, like your basic shots. And usually you're actually going to be using your normal shot against bosses unless they have the weakness, which is maybe half of them. But uh, you use it pretty often, so it, you know it's still good to get either way. Um, I think I might just do a teeny bit of grinding and grab some Siega. I'll probably just grab all the Siega here from the past levels, um, just so things speed up a little bit. Because I want, I want to earn Trez a little bit faster, because that'll make boss fights faster. And um, you know, I won't grind myself into you know super god power, but uh, just so things go a little bit faster. Yeah, next time we will take on. Um, yeah, Kirio is, uh, <laughs> she's another one that has a pretty major effect from her weakness. I actually really like it because she doesn't, it's a really unorthodox sort of thing. You'll see, you'll see.